Hello Mesa College. Did you know that there are funds available for conference and travel? Most of your departments don't have enough funds to help uh, all the professional learning that folks want for conference and travel. And so we're going to show you a resource today where you can apply for some funding. Absolutely. So right here off the loft homepage, there's a button for requests because you are requesting funds. Yes. Let's go so for click it. Click on there. We can scroll down. Conference and travel. Ding! There we are. So there are um, funds available, though there are a limited amount of funds, but they're still available to the campus. All employees are welcome to apply. Yes, so that is classified professionals, administrators, and faculty, full-time and part-time. And our NANSAs, too. Oh, yes, and NANSAs, too. So step one, you want to fill out, fill out sorry, the pre-authorization form. Um, it's the standard Excel form that you fill out for any conference and travel. It's nothing new, nothing different. You want to gather all your expenses so you know how much you got to ask for. Pull that all together and then talk to your next level manager, supervisor, dean um, about attending. They're going to talk to you and see if there are funds available from the department. We know that our contract faculty, classroom contract faculty, have some funds from AFT. And some departments have a little bit of conference and travel funds in their own budgets. And so your dean, manager, supervisor will work with you to identify if there's any funds available from that source and um, complete your form. So once you complete that form, we will go to that application. So this is just a funding request form. And as you can see, there's some important information at the top that just talks about um, funding is not approved for tuition for classes or relaxation retreats. And as well as that there may be limited funding but and applicants may bear some of that cost. Um, there's a funding maximum per person for this fiscal year, which is $400. However, CTE programs and services are eligible for up to $1,000. And don't forget, six weeks prior to the event, you need to be requesting conference and travel funds. Um, if it's under the six weeks, we can't really assist you because of how long it takes to process those requests within um, our district. And once you submit them, we hope to return that within 12 business days back to you about your request submission. And actually, I think it's more than a hope. We promise we'll get back to you in 12 business days. How about That's that? right. There we go. The form is pretty simple. Name, email, the name of, again, your supervisor, your manager, your direct report, your employee classification, the discipline department or program. Uh, next button is um, CTE, so if you're a CTE program, go ahead and click on that one. Um, next up, conference and travel, so the date you're going to be traveling. So uh, we know conferences have beginning and end dates. We're looking for the beginning date here, please. Um, the title, of course, location where you're going. The total cost, so this should match, match what's on box 38E of your pre-conference travel form. Your funds received, that's from um, any other uh, sources that could be from the department, that could be some uh, other special funding, a grant or something you might have. And so the bottom line is how much funding are you requesting from the committee? So take in mind, we do have those maxes, don't we? Yes. So pop in the conference website, um, then you want to indicate the funding priorities that this meets. These are what the committee looks at. We have the whole committee, the conference and travel, the CAT committee, if you will. Yes taking a look at them. Um, you're also going to describe the purpose of the travel and how the um, travel relates to those priorities that you listed above. And describe also how this conference and travel will meet the funding priorities you have selected and how you will share that back with your campus community, maybe your department or school, or maybe in other ways. Also, we would like to just mention that there's two uh, box or two circles that you can select. One is about how your department is supporting the request. And if they're not, if you click on that, a box will show up and ask you why your department is not able to fund. And maybe it's because they have no more funds available or for other reasons, but we like to um, have that information to reevaluate your request. Then all you need to do is uh, attach that pre-travel authorization form right there. You'll upload it. Um, if you do have questions about um, conference and travel, there's some other links for your information. Note that there are some states that we cannot travel to um, due to AB 1887. Um, and if you do need, for some reason, there's an extenuating circumstance, you need to go to one of those states, please work with your dean or manager on that. And then just go ahead and click that submit button right there. As uh, my colleague here said, 
we will get back to you in 12 days, 12 business days, yes. with an answer so that you can move your hopefully approved conference and travel on forward. So uh, get to learn it, everybody. Yep. We look forward to your submissions. Thank, Thank you. you.